afternoon, new clues have surfaced in the search for the Albuquerque couple. Crews have zeroed in on an area of southern Colorado. The last place GPS picked up their plane. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is live at Via Vista Elementary School near Central and Atrisco, where the teacher works. Gabrielle. Kim Melissa Watson's friend tells me that when she didn't show up to work here yesterday, coworkers grew concerned, saying it's very unlike her to not show or contact anyone. She's a very responsible mother and a very responsible teacher, and this is just really uncharacteristic of her, so we uh, were very concerned that something's happened to her. State police say 42 year old Melissa Watson and her boyfriend, 55 year old Howard Guthrie, left from the Moriarty Airport late Friday afternoon. Guthrie was piloting a four passenger Mooney airplane. Watson's friend tells me the couple was headed to Pagosa Springs for the weekend, but state police now tells us the inclement weather kept them from landing at their destination and their plane turned around. Air and ground crews are focusing the search on an area in the San Juan National Forest, less than 30 miles southeast of Pagosa. Springs. That's where officials say the last GPS reading from their plane was tracked. Watson's friend says no one talked to the couple over the weekend, but it really didn't worry them too much until Watson didn't show up to work Monday. Watson teaches second grade at Via Vista Elementary School. She also wasn't there to pick up her fifth grade son from school yesterday. I'm trying to just hang on to hope. I'm, I'm hoping that the plane didn't crash. I know there was a lot of bad weather on, on Friday into Saturday. Um, so try not to think the worst, but just considering all possibilities. Now, I also spoke with Watson's father over the phone. They're very concerned. Now, we're told that when her mom tried to call Watson over the weekend, her cell phone went straight to voicemail. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabrielle. Now, state police and search crews here in New Mexico are in the air flying that flight path the couple would have taken in New Mexico. We'll obviously continue to follow this story, have the latest developments on News 13 at 530.